Kia ora this video after close of trade Monday 27th of August 2012. Hope you had a good day's trading. Hope you had a good weekend. So, very uh, low volume day to day. 0 0.8 million contracts traded. I know they had a uh, bank holiday in the UK, but uh, that's unbelievably low. Uh, it's just whole sequence. I mean, this month has been, uh, you know, kind of low news flow and not a great deal of activity. Still, it was a good day's trading. Um, in terms of patterns today, it actually ended up being a no demand day, and we've kind of gone through this whole range coming up here with Rambo patterns, no demand patterns, and so on. And I've been talking about just waiting for this weekly cycle resistance to kind of come in. Uh, we're underneath the lip here on better X trend, so we kind of last couple of days kind of uh, flipped over into downtrend. We've kind of tested back up underneath the lip here, so it's kind of uh, the first kind of test of that high there. Um, but this is the thing I'm looking for that's going to develop over the next week or two. Um, could be this week by the end of this week and could be confirmed kind of next week but we've got this cyclical turn happening on the weekly charts um, you can see last couple of weeks activities kind of Rambo patterns up here Rambo patterns kind of on previous kind of shoulders and so on so just have to wait for that to play out and it's happening on all the uh, uh, indices as well so this is uh, NASDAQ uh, again weekly chart here um, we've got a couple of weeks or this week, next week kind of to run for this cyclical high uh, being put in its resistance line. Uh, we've got it on the Dow kind of coming up this week most likely. Uh, this is the S&P 500 index uh, and then this is uh, the Russell. So uh, same kind of pattern and then if you go to uh, each of the risk on charts, so this is crude. We've got a couple of weeks to run in here. Again, these are all weekly charts I'm looking at. We had, you know, kind of low volume uh, kind of activity, amateur activity, um, under hundred dollars up here. Uh, we've got euro. Euro's got a little bit, you know, it's kind of flattening out, so it's not a classic kind of pattern. But if we have a little bit of a spike maybe in the euro, this will kind of join up and kind of potentially start to roll over. Aussie dollar, we've got it in actually. It happened a couple of weeks ago, so we've got that kind of cyclical top. Uh, kind of formed silver. I know silver has been extremely strong. And it's been uh, a great little kind of uptrend pop. It's probably got to make a pullback to end of trend on the daily chart, but you know it'll find some resistance at least when we get that uh, cyclical cross. And then here's here's gold it happened a little bit kind of sooner. So on all of these weekly charts, we got these uh, crossings kind of in the offing. They're, they're kind of out there. They're, they're a resistance point that we might kind of start to roll over or, or start to have a you know, significant kind of change in trend. So let's kind of wait and see. Um, and with weekend's activity, commitment of traders numbers kind of came out and we had another bearish divergence signal kind of uh, come in here. So this was kind of really, really close to the zero line, kind of starting to roll over. So we've got some reasons to be bearish. Um, today's activity this is the 4,500 tip bar chart. It was a beauty, absolute beauty. We sold off uh, from uh, the open, got caught in the pullback support level on the uh, pullback in an uptrend on the 4,500 tip bar chart. Race back up to form end of trend. It was a flush pattern. Look at all the blue professional bars. We had blue professional bars catching that little low. We had them getting out that high, and then we kind of rushed back down to find support here. Kind of coming at the end of the day, and I, I talk about these where, where we get uh, if you get fairly low range days. Today it was a nice nice trading range day. Nothing too excessive. Nothing uh, you know unmanageable, um, but. If you get end of trend signals that kind of line up with cyclical turns, so end of trend in lower time frames lining up with cyclical uh, turns in higher time frames. So the lower time frame compared to the 4,500 tip bar chart is the 500 tip bar chart. Let me just punch this up so you can see it. So this is the activity kind of uh, Sunday night into pre-Monday. And then pull back to end of trend, bang, marks the low down here. We race away to an uptrend, pull back to end of trend, bang, marks the high there. And then pull back to end of trend, bang, marks the low. So those cyclical turning points on the higher time frame lining up with trends, end of trend uh, signals on the lower time frames. Just a beauty to catch those highs and lows. Um, the trick well there's not a trick to it but you know 
when you're waiting for confirmation, so on the 500 tip bar chart, you come down to pull back to end of trend. We've had our exhaustion selling on the left hand uh, shoulder here, and we're going through some basing, some testing uh, to make sure that low is in. And you can see after the blue professional bars kind of come in a couple of times down here at the lows, they kind of are anxious to, to buy it. So they buy it here. We kind of continue on. We come back down, test the low of that blue professional bar. They come in again, buy it again in that kind of acquisition zone. We see a little bit of a gathering pattern there, a whole bunch of blue professional bars. Then we get a final little test down. It's a Rambo pattern. The amateur is wrong footed. Reversal of an amateur breakout. We get another bullish divergence pattern. Bang, and we're away. On the upside here, we go to make our pullback to end of trend. We've had our exhaustion buying on the left hand shoulder. We get bearish divergence. And you can see that the testing this time, amateur up bar testing into those highs. The next time we come in, the professionals step in there. They want to get on board this move, bang, sell it down, and we're off to this downtrend down here. So those are the kind of things you need to be looking for. On the 1500 tip bar chart, you know, it was cyclical support down here, bullish divergence had come in, bang, we race weighted the upside. Uh, exhaustion buying first bearish divergence signal up here. So these kind of uh, bullish and bearish divergence signals on better momentum on the 1500 tip bar chart for change in trend, watch for those. And this was playing, this activity today was basically playing off uh, the uh, 4500 cycles. Uh, along with the 500 tip bar cycles. You find days that kind of are lining up. Lower uh, lower range days tend to work within the 4,500 cycles, and then higher range days tend to work within the 1,500 uh, tip bar kind of cycles. So there we go. It was a beauty. I, my trade was short, uh, short at 12 even off the open, uh, and then so I got out at 8.5. It was good to my target at 8. But I saw uh, some blue professional bars kind of coming in at the lows here. We had an exhaustion pattern here, and it actually happened to be a cyclical support coming in on 1500. So I wasn't sure it was going to make 1408, so I just jumped out with 3.5. So I was quite happy with that. The trade was only 10, 15 minutes long or something like that. It was a really nice kind of quick, it uh, wasn't a strictly a one shot, one kill, but just nice to, nice to be uh, in and out with a straight shot down. So there we go. Uh, don't know where we're going uh, tomorrow. 40,500 tip bar chart. So we've found support uh, on Friday's activity and kind of raced away. And we're kind of mid trend, uh, if you like. We've we found resistance here at the 40,500 tip bar chart. And we've kind of come down on the 13,500 next t uh, time frame down. You know, we've had our exhaustion selling. We kind of raced away. We come back with today's activity with a flush pattern here. And we're resting with a blue professional bar at resistance. Potentially resistance uh, becomes support and we could uh, break to the upside. Don't know. We'll have to wait and see. We've got this cyclical kind of support in here at the moment. Um, so I don't know. If this breaks kind of overnight, we'll be into the downtrend on the 4,500 tip bar chart. But uh, we could be mid-cycle and kind of testing the highs again. So I'm in, in two minds on, on that one. So just kind of uh, wait for the activity and, and try and buy a little bit of a retracement or sell a retracement. Anyway, I'll uh, tag on that day trade. It's a nice kind of uh, quick little video. Hope you traded well today. Just got short 12 even. Short 12 even. And the reason for getting short, we're just kind of bouncing off... Uh, Support becomes resistance on the 500 tip bar chart. So we kind of ran up, kind of pre open a whole bunch of blue professional bar exhaustion buying, bearish divergence, bit of a double top here, all these blue professional bars at the highs. Kind of raced away. Could have, uh, I was looking for some kind of more pullback y uh, type uh, signal that kind of just played into this zone. Like an amateur up bar, professional up bar would have been great, but we just burst through the uh, support line at the open and so we've kind of come back uh, support becomes resistance just bouncing off that kind of on the way down so we've got a flush pattern here and looking for this to be pullback to end of trend will finish up finding support on the 4500 tip bar chart somewhere here so let's see short 12 even it's a couple of minutes later just broken down to 10 and 3 quarters so it was a blue professional kind of up bar on 1500 kind of came around broke the lows of that so it's kind of good Got support coming on 1500 at some point, um, so that'll probably kind of catch things. My target's at 8, which is kind of around here. Kind of looks doable in terms of a support area on the 4500 tip bar chart, but 
slow, hope not another one of these bloody slow days, but anyway, it's broken down to ten and a half. So let's see where this goes. Okay, here we go, just broken down to nines, blue professional bars coming here. Kind of rested a little bit when we got a Rambo pattern. Okay, another blue professional bar on 1500 tip bar chart here. We got uh, support kind of due. Target to eight. And yeah, we're super close to it, but we've got a little bit of time to run to a support on 4500 tip bar chart. So we might find a little bit of uh, support kind of here. We've got minus. 9,000 on uh, better momentum. That could easily be a pro signal exit here. Need to wait for a pullback to end up trend on the 500. Might woo. Well, here we go. So we're going to 875s. Might get lucky with a kind of a, a burst downwards, but let's just wait and see. Move my target to eight and a half. Uh, the reason for doing that is a whole bunch of blue professional bars kind of came in here. I've got exhaustion minus 14,000 is a big reading. So just don't think it's going to make it to eight, but anyway, let's just see. Eight and a half would be nice. Let's come down again. It just out out at uh, eight and a half. Just kind of collapsed down there. So for uh, three and a half points, quite happy with that. Looks like it's going to get to eight uh, just now. Um, but minus fourteen thousand is a big reading on better momentum. We've got all these blue fresh bars started to come in here. We've got a cyclical support kind of due here. I know we've got to make pullback to end of trend on 500 but that was a that was a bit of a gift so it was at 8 47 a.m. it was a nice kind of straight run down as soon as we kind of bounced off this bounced off uh, support becomes resistance 500 tip bar chart bang we're in a downtrend bang all the way down so quite happy with that three and a half points I'm just going to leave it there um, I think this will make pullback to end of trend find support here and uh, be a pullback and an uptrend on the 4500 tip bar chart around here and then kind of reverse and maybe kind of head up the other way but uh, there we go well, there we go about 20 minutes later we got to 1408 we put in a pullback to end of trend a whole bunch of blue professional bars kind of coming at the lows Final one down here on 1500. Got bullish divergence setting up here, so we got pullback to end of trend. We've got support kind of due on the 4500 tip bar chart. Be nice to see a blue professional bar here. See what it looks like at the close of this bar. But that for a little kind of reversal pattern, just to go the other way, kind of test the highs. Put in a uh, this will be pullback and an uptrend on 4500 tip bar chart. Put in a pullback back to uh, end of trend on the 4500 tip bar chart, and then kind of see where it goes from there. But uh, so, you know, there was another half point in it, but the amount of time it took to kind of really kind of make that for me just, it's just not not me. So anyway, um, I'm just going to watch it for a, for a second and see what happens when we get this kind of closed up. But there we go, finally pull back to end of trend.